What is going on YouTube? This is Vice speaking and welcome back to some more Octopath Traveler Man. In the last episode, what the heck did we do? I believe we wrapped up Tressa's chapter 2 story man. We, we redeemed Ali. You know, I still don't know to this day whether Ali's father was a good person or a bad person. But, you know, we're going to take his word for it man. We stuck it to those two goons who thought they ran the town. Uh, psych. You know, we had to do what we had to do. Now in this episode, if you don't recognize where I am, you know, you can go ahead and take a guess. But if you can't figure it out, I happen to be in the West Noble Court Flats, I believe is the name? Um, why is that? Because in this episode, we are going to be taking on Therion's Chapter 2 in Noble Court. I am right outside. It's actually kind of close to the Shrine of the Sage, if you'll recall from the... Uh, secondary job episode. But with that, man, I'm super excited to start Therion's Chapter 2. I can't wait. I say let's get right into it. Now, um, that's such a tiny amount of money. I, I assumed that um, the, the further you got in the game, like for the higher level towns, Tressa would pick up more money. She just picked up a hundred leaf. That's like nothing. But it is what it is. Um, now, before I started recording, a little bit ago actually, I went around and scrutinized as many people as I could. I stole a bunch of things just because I like to do that before the recording. Um, scrutinized percentages are hard in this town. Um, so you're going to want to be wary of that. I did have to restore my reputation once, um, but we don't got to talk about that. Anyways, I'm thinking we go straight to the tavern. Hey, Ophelia, what's up? Should you need guidance and support on your path, I am ever at your service. You know, Ophelia, that's why we love you. That is exactly why we love you, Ophelia. Let's hear a tale. Therion, Chapter 2. The story so far. After successfully infiltrating Ravis Manor, Therion was confronted by the butler Heathcote who ensnared him with a fool's bangle. Now he begrudgingly ventures forth to find the three dragonstones, the lost treasures of House Ravis, at the behest of their owner, Lady Cordelia, that he might have his mark of shame removed. And so he arrives in this town, where rumor has it the ruby dragonstone resides. As for who holds it, none can say. And thus, Therion's search begins. Now then. A scholar in noble court. Thanks, Heathcote. Those are like a leaf a dozen. I need something more to go on than that. I'm glad it's on the outskirts. I avoid it if I can. Aye. That creepy old mansion in the northwest part of town? I heard someone actually lives there. Who? A man named Orlick. They said he's some kind of scholar. Mm -hmm. What business would a scholar have living there? Research. Apparently he spends all his time locked up in his study, studying some shiny red stone. His men won't let anyone in to see him. Okay, this is all a bit convenient. As soon as we arrive in town, we overhear a conversation. Okay, okay, it's just a game. Hmm. If you ask me, it sounds like he's hiding something. <laughs> he may very well be, but I'm fine letting him keep his secrets. Interesting. The secrets he can keep, but that stone is a different story. Time to do some research, research of my own. Outskirts of town, was it? Now, just like last time, I will be attempting to show you guys as many of the travel banters as I can. Um, so we have one right here, actually. Hey. So, Therion, do you really think we'll find the Dragonstone here? That's the question of the day, isn't it? We'll know until we ask around. I suppose for you, that means hanging out in the alehouse, eavesdropping for rumors and the like. If you ask me, I think it's better to just talk to people. You're more likely to get an honest answer that way. In my line of work, you can't afford to chase after every wild rumor you hear. You have to find people you can trust. Eh, there's enough alehouses and you learn to separate the wheat from the chaff. And in my line of work, it's not wise to make too many friends. They tend not to last. 
I see. I guess that means we're both cut out for our own trades. <laughs> I guess you could say that. Okay, now are we going to be looking for that manor? Yes, actually. And because I searched the town a little bit, I know that it is to the northwest, just like the guy said. This must be the place. Ooh, stealthy. Ah, of course. And of course it's guarded. And he just happened to take a peek right when we came. All this convenient nonsense. A scholar with his own personal arm to guard. Yeah, that's not suspicious or anything. Hmm. No back door either. I can't get a free pass anywhere these days. I'll swing by the tavern. Someone's bound to know something. Well, let's not waste any time. Oh, we got some more. My goodness. Tell me, how would you get into this building? Mm. An interesting query. Were it a battlefield, I would seek out the weakest flank and strike, using the element of surprise. Oh? Would have figured you more of a full frontal assault. Of course, I would consider that too, were it necessary. But either way, reaching the center of the mass would be no easy task. Brute force can only get you so far, eh? Just so. The straight way of the soldier is not always the surest, nor quickest path. Hence, this venture is best, best left in your hands. I'm most eager to see your skills in action. <laughs> Never thought I'd have an audience. Ooh, I wonder how the dynamic between Ulbrick and Therion is going to be. Um, I guess we're coming over here. Let's see, who here looks like they know about our old friend Orlik? Hello. How's business, my friend? Well, you see... Not good, I'm afraid. I hope you're faring better. <sighs> I wish I could tell you so, but it's been hard lately for us too. Oh. My condolences. Mine too. Moving on. I just don't get these people. Locked away in that manor, surrounded by guards? It's strange, isn't it? Makes me wonder what just what Orlik's up to in there. Well. That's more like it. Hey. Mind if I have a seat? Hello? Not at all. Can I get you two a drink? All right then. That's mighty kind of you, stranger. What brings you here? You don't look like you're from around from around these parts, man. It, oh, it's one of those days. I'm a wanderer, going anywhere, going wherever my feet take me. And there's nothing better than a, ta a tall ale and a good tale after a day of traveling. If you don't mind my asking. Who's this Orlik fellow you were talking about? <laughs> if you're that interested, we'll tell you all about him. Consider it thanks for the drinks. Well, the fact is... Orlik's the talk of the town right now. Truth is... He's a scholar, and one I dare say went off the deep end. Hold himself up in the building on the edge of town. Where it is, he's doing some kind of research and hasn't come out since. Just so. I heard he's investigating a stone. But nobody knows what for. <laughs> it definitely sounds like he's got a few screws loose. <laughs> you got that right. He's one you don't want to get involved with. Now that I think about it, though, didn't he have a research partner? Oh. Yeah, I heard he was another eccentric one. I think he's still doing his research in the town. Hmm. 
What's his name? If I recall. Barnrim, Barhand, Barum? Yeah, that's it. He worked in that manor with Orlick, but they went their separate ways after a disagreement. Is that so? I guess they were too much for each other to handle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. Anyway, I hope that sates your curiosity, Wanderer. Thanks. It does. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Now to track down this Barnum. Wait, I misread that. Is it Barnum or Barham? Okay, well, our spidey senses are telling us that down here... And I noticed this house, too. It looked very different, and we couldn't even go in. Or I couldn't when I was exploring town earlier. Now then. Let's see if he's home. What? Who's there? Someone looking for a man named Barham. Let's hurry this up. I'm Barham. What business do you have with me? Is that so? I heard you used to be Orlok's research partner. Is that true? Yes, yes. That was long, long ago. I have nothing to do with the man now. And all the better for it. If that's all you came here for, you can leave now. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, hear me out. Orlok has something I need. What? And what's that? I'll give you a hint. It's the subject of his research. <sighs> the Ruby Dragonstone. Indeed. That's the one. I see. I surmise you have a plan to you plan to take it from him. Guilty is charged. <laughs> and you need my help. That's right. Mm-hmm. I see. So you came to ask me how to get into his place. <laughs> you scholars are quick on the uptake. Let's hurry this up. <laughs> Very well. I'll give you the answer you seek. You'll need a password to enter. Oh. Uh -huh. And the password is. <laughs> Presumptuous, aren't we? I'll tell you on one condition. Is that so? Let's hear it. Get what I need for my experiment. And we'll call it a deal. Sure. Sounds fair. So what do you need? Pure water, filtered through the desert sands. The kind found only in the most pristine oases. Hmm. Silly me. I actually thought your demand was going to be reasonable. Duh. It is, you fool. A merchant from the Sunlands oft comes to town selling this very water. However, this rarity doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Price is never my problem. Consider it done. Okay, well, I don't know how we're going to go about this. Steal... Oh, oh, okay, we don't need to go straight to the desert. We just need to steal it from the merchant who has it. Okay, I didn't pick up on that for some reason. Well, this should be easy enough for Therion. Welcome, welcome. Come one, come all. I present to you the most precious and refreshing beverage in the realm. Oasis water, all natural and free of even the slightest impurities. One sip and you'll taste the difference. You there, how about a drink? Thieving time. If you need a thief to water. Oh, travel banter, let's see. So, so how dost thou propose in to get in the water from that merchant? Do you have to ask? You know what I do for a living. Thievery. Don't approve, do you? To speak truly, I do not. Fair enough. It's no secret. What I do isn't exactly noble. Thou needest not defend in thyself. We are in comrades. I can put my personal prejudices aside. Comrades, eh? Did I say something odd? No, never mind. Aw. I respect Hanit for, Greetings. for you know, being able to understand Therion's lifestyle and not openly opposing him. Deliver the Oasis water. 
And he didn't even notice. <laughs> hey, sir, I got your water. And that's that. I hope you're thirsty. Uh -huh. That was faster than I anticipated. Now then. I fulfilled my half of the bargain. Now tell me the password. No. Now, now. Your half is fulfilled when I say it's fulfilled. I see what's happening here. I should hope so. I'll need a few more things for my experiment, if you'd be so kind. If you insist. Thieves are notorious for being kind. How can I help you? I require a wyvern scale. Can you procure one for me? I don't know. Where can I find one? If you want facts. They're sold in town from time to time. It's highly prized by scholars as a regent and carries a price to match. Got it. I'm noticing a trend here. But yes, I can get it for you. Yes, yes. Good. I'm counting on you. Okay, well, my goodness, we are really running errands today. Let's make our way over to the east side. And is it a merchant sells it? Ooh, what can we have here? You look like the typical merchant. Welcome. It's yours for a price. Uh, I think I'll take it for free. I trust you won't be missing this, you absolute fool. I've got my hand in your pocket and you don't even know this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Errand after errand, man. This better be it. You're not about to swindle Therion. Wyvern scale? Yep, let's give it to him. And that's that. I got what you asked for. Uh -huh. Perfect. You're quite good at your craft. I need a password, not praise. And I need just one more thing. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. Remind me, who's the crook here? <laughs> that's a fine attitude to have if you don't want it. And if you, if you don't want the password. Okay, but this is the last one. Yes, yes. Yes, I promise. It's a special type of ore. Metallic in nature, but crystal clear. Once I have it, I can begin my experiment. <laughs> Music to my ears. Okay, banter. <laughs> stealing here, stealing there, stealing pretty much everywhere. Heck, you thieves sure do hard work. <laughs> and you're one of the best, right? You gotta have a massive stash of treasure hidden away. Let's just say I'm prepared for retirement. I, <laughs> I see. Anyway, one more task and our job's done. Light at the end of the tunnel, eh? Our... It's not like you're doing any thieving. Man, talk about a tough crowd. Anyway, when the job's done, let's say we go hit the tavern. Sure. One mug. Your treat. Aw, oh, good guy, Alfred. He's, he's just trying to, you know, just trying to make friends. You know, secure that bond. Crystal ore, man. 100%. Theory on never misses. Okay, man, I'm just about sick of these dang trips to and fro. Let's hear it. What's the password? And that's that. I got what you asked for. Here. Catch. Careful. C careful with that. Anyhow, thanks. At last, I can begin my grand experiment. Huh. Aren't you forgetting something, old man? You promised me a password. Ah. Cool your heels. The experiment comes first. Ah. 
I hope you don't think you can swindle a swindler. Wrong. Don't be ridiculous. Just be patient, and I'll uphold my half of the bargain. If you want facts... Orlick and I have known each other since our years at the Academy. We acquired that manor as a place to continue our research. But he changed after coming across that Dragonstone. It was almost like he was possessed, his life consumed by his research. He wouldn't let anyone get near him. Not even me. <sighs> That's why I want to help you get that stone away from him. It's not meant to be held by our hands. Hmm. The password is the truth of all things. Well, I'll be damned. The truth of all things. That's easy enough to remember. Yes. Yes. And take this with you, too. This is... A key. True. Observant. I see. You use those materials to make this. Yes, yes. You're a natural-born researcher, boy. Now, the password will get you into the mansion. But the door to the laboratory can only be opened with that key. Hmm. Makes you think he doesn't want anyone getting in. Not even an old friend like you. Hmm. Yes. We may have disagreed from time to time. But Orlick is still like a brother to me. My warnings may have been nothing but noise to him, but... I wouldn't be much of an older brother if I didn't nag from time to time. Passion is important in our line of work, but there's a fine line between that and obsession, and Orlick's crossed that line. Hmm. So this moving friendship, or maybe brotherly love, is why you're so willing to help me? <laughs> I wonder. Perhaps it's jealousy or hatred that's come to drive me. But those bygone days are precious to me, even now. I know what I feel is true. Oh, really? Tugs the old heartstrings. But my own reasons are more than enough to go through with this. Thanks. Hmm. Friends. Brothers. Partners. Oh man, that was actually kind of touching. Man. Ooh, what do we have here? All right. I think we're in the clear. <laughs> <laughs> Those Ciano bastards finally got what they deserved. <laughs> Any, what? <well>, uh, <laughs> Always strutting around like they bleed known the place. I forgot the voice I gave this dude. I wish I could see their boats when they realized someone beat them to it. No matter how hard they look now, they won't find our treasure. <laughs> Something this rare would be wasted on them anyway. <laughs> you said it. Now we'll just sell this gem and... Hmm. Wait. Hmm? Something wrong? Where are the gold coins we stole? We said we'd split the spoils. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp as a tag, aren't you? It's not much, so I thought I'd just hold on to it and buy you a tiddly later. I see. I see. Then let's celebrate with this tonight. <gasps> yeah, let's. All right. But don't let your guard down. The Cianos will come to will come for revenge at some point. They call themselves thieves, but they'll resort to violence if need be. Thanks. I know. Thanks for looking out, partner. Now then. No problem. Now let's get moving. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, 
that seemed like a pretty resentful, huh? Ooh. Now I don't know, man. They, they look like buddies in the past, but now I don't know. I swear, scholars have to be the most pig-headed folk around. Not exactly. There's some truth to... No, I'm afraid I must protest. You must understand that not all scholars are like the master here. I can see there are stubborn types obsessed with their research and blind to all else. But there are broad-minded thinkers, too, who freely seek wisdom and truth in all its forms. Like myself, for example. I see. Well, let me rephrase myself. By all means, my friend. Scholars are some of the most pompous and pedantic people I've ever had the joy of meeting. Now that's hardly an improvement. Allow me to make a counter-argument. Case in point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, that's classic, man. You gotta love Cyrus. Oh, I'm so in love with him. I'm so in love with him. Now, is this... Actually, let's just see. Oh, hold on. Hold. What business do you have here? There's no need to sneak around now that I have the password. If I play my cards right, I can walk right in. Hey. I have a package for Orlik. Materials for his experiment. Oi. You hear anything about a delivery? Nah. Not me. Hmm. That's odd. Maybe the message just got lost somewhere. Anyway, he said it was urgent, so I rushed over. Understood. What's the password? The truth of all things. Alright, you may pass. Much obliged. Time to get to work. Where would we be without guards? Alrighty, man, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, danger level 22. That's a dungeon, guys. So I am probably going to call this episode here. This one might actually not be 30 minutes for once. But that's a good thing, man. The episodes have been going so long for so long. <laughs> it's just we can't keep doing that. So I am happy to end it here. Um, but anyways, guys, with that said, I hope you did enjoy. So well, if you did enjoy, you can always give it a like. If you did not, you can dislike and tell me what I can do to improve these episodes in the comments. With all of that said, guys, I have been Vice, and this has been Octopath Traveler, man. I'm going to let that out to do its thing, and I will catch you guys in the next one, all right? I'm out of here.